Hey guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. We are back in the 1.16 survival world, like always. But today we are going to be working on a project in the nether. It's a little project, um, it's a better pigling farm. But off camera I have been very busy. I have done some progress to the base as you can see. I have built all the walls up on all four corners. I still need to turn some of it to concrete powder, and um, not concrete, powder, to actual concrete. But I haven't actually done any of the detail into the build yet because I actually ran out of blackstone. And to get the blackstone I'm going to need to go all the way around is going to take ages. To get all this blackstone I've used already is about a shulker box full. And I'm probably going to need another shulker box full. Because um, we also need blackstone for the roof area. So we're going to need about another shulker box, to two shulker boxes. Uh, to finish the base and up here I've actually put like uh, black glass with some grey concrete uh, as like the floor I might have a door um, like in this sort of area so you can come out on this ba balcony and like look over or something I'm not too sure yet but I've also done uh, it, a dip there I was thinking of having water drip down so then it flows down and flows down there again, but I didn't like that. So I thought I'd destroy that. But yeah, uh, let's now talk about the snapshot that released yesterday. 20W18A released um, yesterday, Wednesday, the 29th of April. And it only changed something to do with redstone. It changed redstone hitbox, so as you can see, it's now um, back as a cross. It's no longer just a single dot that it used to be. And the hitbox is now not the same size as a full block, as you can see. So you can now, like, click on things under it. So if you have, like, a hopper, you can now click on the hopper if you've got blocks uh, covering on all four sides. But, yeah, so that was the only change in the snapshot. They also uh, fixed a lot of bugs. I've pretty sure they fixed a bug where too many ghasts was spawning in soul sand valleys thank god for that um at least they've they knew it was a bug but yeah so let's now go to the nether right so guys now we're in the nether i am really just going to kill these drowns and um, just so they're not uh here let's quickly take them out uh there we go last two Take out them all, yes. What have we actually got in here? Okay, we've got five tridents, quite a lot of gold, quite a lot of nautilus shells, quite a lot of drowned heads, um, six concrete powder that I think they picked up um, when I was building the base. But anyway, what we are going to be building today is actually a um, pigling farm. And that pigling farm I have got uh, at the bottom of the nether but i'm gonna improve it and move it to the top of the nether because then we won't have to worry about ghasts uh skeletons and all that shooting us every time we go to it so let's just destroy some of this i'm gonna build it about um where should i build it well that's the way to get down so let's build it about here maybe i think so how it's gonna be is it's going to be uh, this is where the hoppers are going to go. Uh, so let's quickly do that. So the hoppers will, go, the chest will go there, and the hoppers will lead into it. Obviously, with um, blocks being there, 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 and then of course uh, there. Uh, so the pillings will be on that block, that block, and that block. With now then. Um, let's get some of them blocks. I want them on the corners like so. With blackstone going along there. And also along there. Then at the back here we're going to do the same thing. Um, like so. With a gap like so. Like that. And then obviously we are going to put a roof on it. But the roof will probably be... Um, some sort of slab or something just so no mobs can spawn but I actually want it three high uh, not two are these directional yet no it don't look like it I really think they should be I don't know if they will make them 
but I think they should be directional right so let's just build up these walls uh, there shouldn't be a block there but there should be a block there um, is that done now I'm pretty sure it is um, yeah then the block should be there once again the reason there's no block here is because that where is where the dispenser will go um, and in the top I will slab over and then now what we want to do is build the same thing uh, on the other side with a four block gap in the middle right so guys what I have done is I've actually done it so there's a gap of four in the middle then it will go the same thing here uh, where it goes on the back like so um, back again no this is where the hopper should be shouldn't it and uh, let me just double check this side no the hopper should be on this block here okay so let's now break all of these and put the hoppers down so what have I done with a chest the chest goes there and then the hoppers go into it like so and then I'm pretty sure we have blocks going along the back with uh, it covered up like so is that our cracked stone bricks yes it is so yeah it goes basically like that and then we go like so so that is how it is and that means we're gonna have six piglings probably two in each one the redstone for the dispensers I will do in a second I actually want blocks going along there just so we can get up and down and I might even put like some slabs or something along there but now what we want to do is actually make some slabs but I don't want to use um, actually yeah, let's use blackstone have we got a crafting table anywhere uh, yes we have one up here so let's quickly fly up here um, how well is this actually doing uh, oh my god okay so it's got quite a lot in it I'll have to come up here at some point okay there's no slab variant of them that's nice to know and a grass has spawned because we haven't slabbed it over so let's really go back to the overworld and get uh, some slabs or some something so they can't spawn and then we will then we will be all good to go right so guys I have now got some slabs uh, that we went way too far there can we go to never before they shoot me out quickly there we go right so yeah I have got some slabs and I also got the dispensers now so we can place the dispensers in dispensers will go on that block there and that got picked up by the chest um, uh, one there and then the same on this side one two uh, I didn't always have to place one wrong don't I right there we go so now that's that done so now what we want to do is we actually need to go up and slab the whole thing over let's just use uh, uh, hoppers to scaffold up but we yeah, need to basically just slab it over like this right so guys I have just finished slabbed in, slabbing it all over and I also put some soul lanterns up in the tops of these it don't make anything spawn proof apart from that one hopper block but I don't think mobs spawn on that anyway so it doesn't really matter um, and then we've got some grey stained glass to put on all of these blocks just so the piglings cannot escape um, because we don't want them attacking us or escaping from the farm so all we have to do for this part is get the uh, piglings back here and then that part's done but we still have to do the redstone I'm gonna get the piglings back off camera um, as that is going to take quite some time um, to do because I have to make a spawning platform somewhere in the crimson forest which is over there and then I'll have to lead them over here and get them into the farm so I'll do that off camera um, yeah I'll also make the, them pathways look a bit neater or something but yeah, so I'll get the piglings off camera. Now what we need to do is actually the redstone, which shouldn't be that hard. Um, should I do it as one whole thing so they all get powered by the same, or should I do it by two separate things? Um, this is where, let's do it as one whole thing. So let's put 
This day, I'm pretty sure I forgot pistons. No, I actually bought pistons. That is good. Right, so what I need to do is done. Uh, not a chest. Uh, there, there. Does this still work? Because they made some changes to redstone, but I don't know how they've changed it. I don't know if they've changed it a lot, or if they've only just like changed hitboxes and stuff like that. I know they've done something so blocks can get powered a lot easier and stuff like that. So let's just hope none of our redstone projects on this world is broken. Because I'm pretty sure some things will break um, from the changes they've made. But let's just hope. I actually need to come here to get some redstone. Because we are actually out of... We are completely out of redstone. Um, and we've got a few stacks here. Let's take three stacks. That definitely will be enough. Because we also need some um, redstone blocks. Can you redstone? Oh, you can. I didn't know you could put redstone on top of uh, what they called. Let's just make seven blocks because we will need blocks. Um, and if we uh, run out of redstone, then I can always turn them back into redstone dust. Right. So let's head on back to the pigling farm. And then we can start doing the redstone. Which is going to be the hardest part. So, let's now... Uh, what do we need to do now? We need to get the pistons. Um, and put them there. And there with a redstone block there. Uh, redstone dust. Like so. And there we go. That should now be done. Um, and all we need to do now is put however many items in this that we want like the timer half a stack let's do for now i know that will probably be way too many i know but it's worth it for now um and then what we want to do is send a pulse every time it gets to here wait can we do this in a different way um so if I put like a redstone block there, will that get a redstone pulse when that comes to there? Uh, let's just wait and see. I don't think it will, but it's worth a try. No, okay, it didn't. Okay, that's nice to know. Right, so the only other way I can think of doing this is by observers. So having that face in like that, uh, not like that, uh, like so. And then repeater um, on a long enough tick ticker delay. And then having the redstone brought over here and to the farm. Let's see, bring that up. Uh, we'll have to bring that up one earlier. Um, maybe one more earlier. Because I'm pretty sure it will need um, repeaters like there to make power them blocks i'm pretty sure i'm not there we go that did power though i just saw it power um, and we can break all like these spare blocks um right let's quickly break some of these and put uh something in the observers in the not the observers the uh dispensers cell fire lantern um, let's just make sure there's nothing in there. Okay, so let's put three different items. Let's put redstone torch and let's put rotten flesh. So, okay, that one did fire out. Let's put it back just to double check they all fire out together. Um, yes, yes, it looked good. Right, so let's now cover that back up. And we got the redstone torch, stuff fire land and, and that. Okay, so that is good. And now all we need to do is the same on this side but I actually run out of observers so let, I'm gonna quickly run back to the base get some observers and I'll be back in a second right so guys I have got the observers so now let's place them there there and there is that correct uh, yes and then now obviously we need this uh, is that four ticks yes it's full delay and um, we've then redstone 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 uh, block block I'm pretty sure it goes up there, then it goes there, there, like so. Then we have one, two, three, redstone, redstone, redstone. I'm pretty sure that now should work. 
Right, so guys, I'm back with the walls. Uh, no, we didn't want. We said we were going to try them ones first, see how they looked. But something I do need to do is put some blocks at the back, just so they connect. Uh, there, there, and there. Just so they are not uh, got the like bumps on them, because I hate walls when they have bumps. And I'll put uh, slabs. Yeah, I guess that looks okay. Um, and do we have any slabs left? Uh, yeah, we have seven. So what I'm gonna do is just like put slabs on the top, just like over there. Uh, let's build up there and put one on there as well. So there we go, that is the farm basically now lit up. The only places things can spawn is the blocks inside. Um, but I'll put buttons or pressure plates on these when I get some actual blackstone. But that is that farm done. Um, all we need to do off camera is get the piglings and then within the next couple of episodes I will build an actual storage system uh, probably somewhere up a little bit. Um, I'll have a dispenser firing it up or something. But I might actually move that so it's around here just so it's behind it not being seen by anything. And then we can completely make this front look nice. Right, so guys, I filled them all up now, and they're all done. Oh, I didn't need to put them blocks back. So then blocks are there, not there. It won't actually work. So there you go. That is this farm now done. Um, that's the gold box. I actually need to take everything that's not gold out of there, and I need to retop this box um asap because it's getting quite empty. Uh, I'm pretty sure that every all the gold that's up there will top that up quite quickly. But anyway guys, I am probably going to end that episode there. Um, I'm quite happy with this. It looks better than I thought it would turn out to be. I will just get the piglings in uh, before next episode. And then next episode I can show you it working. But if you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget, the Discord link will be in the description. And we have a new series. Whoa. Okay. There's some weirdness happening there. Uh, I won't question it, but yeah, if you're looking forward to the new series, it will be live on Monday. So, and also before I end this video, I'm pretty sure, for thinking about the last two snapshots, I'm pretty sure now it is the end of the 1.16 development, which means 1.16 will probably come out this month, and that is not me saying, oh yeah, it's 100%, it's probably... Um, it'll probably come out beginning of May, uh, middle May, maybe the middle of June, as that is when they're most. Uh, they normally release them between April and June, um, because then it's coming to the beginning of the summer. Uh, kids are starting to obviously break up from school. They have a fresh new update to play with um, while they're on their holidays. So that's normally the time they release it. But I reckon it could be released. It will probably most likely be released by the end of June. So just a couple more months and we should see 1.16 fully released for everyone to play. And also then that means my realm will be open for you guys to join. So I'll see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.